Welcome back to the Overwatch Open, ladies and gentlemen. We are thick in the EU Grand Finals here, where Reunited currently enjoy a 2-0 lead over Luminosity. But the drama has been thick and fast, and Luminosity certainly have their version of the story to tell here, and there uh, is still opportunity for them. They do, and LG, I mean, they didn't look bad in our last uh, map here on Ilios, where, I mean, they weren't able to pull it out in the end, but they definitely gave Reunited a run for their money. And the problem is for them, though, is that consistency-wise, Reunited has been the more consistent team thus far. And there's going to have to be a large shift in fortunes here for LG because they have to win not one, not two, but three maps in a row now to win the series. And even if you are an envious, that is a difficult task to do. It very much is. I mean, I would love the story if they were actually able to do this here, but it is definitely a mountain to climb. Reunited... Also not looking very nervous or troubled at the moment. Uh, we, we have been talking about the curse, but at the same time, their performances have been solid. They haven't panicked under pressure. The 99-0 flip, I thought, was a great example of that, where they were very composed during their team fight as well. And they're just looking like the absolute enormous favorite to make this a 3-0. Yeah, I mean, they've been doing well. And again, I mentioned a little bit earlier, but I think the biggest change for Reunited here is that they've just been getting more contribution out of Kib. Uh, Kib has been up and down. He's had uh, games and series where he sort of disappeared, but he's really come in the clutch on many, many moments here for Reunited here today. And if he's able to keep that up, it is a very good omen indeed. It definitely is. So we'll be watching to see uh, how he is able to take on the third map. We're still waiting, by the way, to find out what that map is. The team's just taking their time to... Oh, well, I was going to say taking their time to come to the decision, but then the bumper goes straight into Numbani. And I have to say, Reunited, they're a little bit famous for being quite yeah. good on this map. So it, this is either the world's boldest statement to say, if we have to win on everything anyway, we're going to come to your home turf. Or, I mean, what is this out of Luminosity? Yeah, I mean, given the Reunite sister and Numbani word, they have had a better winning percentage of the map relative to other maps in the game for payload. It's not an ideal situation for LG. I think uh, what you mentioned definitely plays into it, where at this point, they're committed. They do have to win on the Bonnie to actually win the series. Maybe they want to get the worst out of the way, go from there. Uh, we'll have to see, but well, the defense coming out from LG right now, uh, it's not unprecedented, but stuff we haven't seen quite as much recently. They will have the Torb on the defense with yay! a Roadhog and a 76 and an absence of everyone's favorite cowboy. I'm doing my happy dance right now. I don't know about you. This is great. Let's see how this holds <laughs> up. Don't forget, by the way, uh, if Luminosity can beat Reunited here, Luminosity can beat Reunited anywhere. I think that is the philosophy they're taking in here. And let's see if they're able to defend here on the first point. Yeah, the problem here is that uh, if Reunited just goes in and just stomps over, this is going to be, well, you should have run meta. We'll see if that happens. Reunited is moving right in over the top. They take out Icefeld immediately. Has no answer to Winghaven. Uh, already a 65, but now 5v5 as Manitin goes in, gets on the cruise. Cruise first to fall once more. It's back and forth right now where maybe LG will be able to hold here, but Reunite has done such damage that their respawns will come in closer, and it's looking very good for them to flip this sooner rather than later. Yeah, Icefelt did not want to go down uh, the, at the first in that engagement at all. Oh, and Valutaja absolutely giving Manitin a headache to remember here. Icefelt coming back into the fight, though. He's bored enough time. He takes out Winghaven. It's so important on this point where there are so many lines of sight that you want to be able to get that constant DPS in from Soldier. Valutaja, though, absolutely not stopping. He hasn't stood in one place long enough for anyone to shoot at him. Uh, no, he hasn't. Volatage's Tracer has been a huge headache for many a team. As a result, Reunited is zoning up the defense. They're going to be jumping onto this one last time. The payload, e or the point is almost captured, but LG trying to do their best, but Ruster goes down, Zave goes down. They're already down two. They're getting poked down. They're down three. And just like that, Soldier not doing what LG would have liked, and Reunited able to take point A uh, relatively painlessly. Oh, that's a pity. I'm sure there was a universe where uh, that was a very prolonged <laughs> team fight, and Molten Core ends up getting a 5k at the end of it. But unfortunately, that is not what we're about to see today. No, nope, but uh, infinite universes, uh, parallel universes where that does happen, where somewhere <laughs> a team is winning with Bastion on every map, but right yes! now that is not the case. Do it, my son. Reunited moving forward, and uh, both teams have a lot of ults to move into here on the next fight. Uh, LG actually a bit of an advantage. We'll see if they're able to win this and get some degree of stabilization. But I'll tell you this much, if they use all their ults and then lose this fight, 
it is a bad omen for the rest of this map. It definitely is. Uh, and here we go. We're going to be starting things off with Kib. And he's got the Dragon Blade Arsene, though. He's actually beat him in two. The punch getting three kills at the moment on Genji. And don't forget, that was at the same time we had Transcendence from Zave. So that cancels out the Dragon Blade from Kib. And Reunited absolutely gets shut down in that fight. Yeah, and thank goodness for that for LG there, where that was a must-win fight. They need, if they're gonna spend those resources, they win. But Manitin, too greedy, goes forward, gets picked off. Now the Sound Bear coming up from Reunite as they look to reverse momentum. They have two kills right now. They are sending LG running. They get on top of the point. And as much good as LG did on that last fight, Manitin kind of throwing away by just being too greedy on the Roadhog. This is an uh, interesting situation, I suppose, with the uh, with the soldier here from Icefelt as well as Ruster tries to buy a little bit more time, but Reunited will be able to get to this next point. You want to be able to do a lot of damage from distance. That's where Icefelt might be able to do something that McCree maybe couldn't otherwise have done. But do we feel he's actually done enough damage there, like over the course of that point, to justify being on the soldier? Probably not. And I mean, the problem with soldier right now too is that like he's not the greatest matchup against uh, Winston and some of the other heroes that you see pretty regularly here. So I don't feel like they've gotten good value off. In fact, he's, he's now going to the defensive tracer. Here comes the Devol coming in. The Sapphire is going to come out. I'm not sure this is going to get too much from it. But Voltaja off the distraction does take out Zave. Reunited is chaining deaths the way they need to. Is Voltaja now on a double kill. Make that a triple. Voltaja playing the game into his own hands right now. And let's take a look at Kip. Dragon Blade on the ready. LG could be seeing their tournament life fade before their eyes right now because this is a lightning fast time being set by Reunited. Yep, incredibly quick. This is basically Basically, the only map where we say there is a chance of them setting a faster time than on Gibraltar. So, a uh, very brave Luminosity to pick this map. They're stalling out at the moment. Reunited looking like they're in a strong position. Battletarge getting another kill off on Roster, and Soundbearer is out for them as well. So, they have the hit points advantage in this fight. It's 6v3. Payload continuing to move. It's seconds away from its destination now, and we're going to see the trickle defense from Luminosity. All right, and everything going Reunited's way here at the end. They will clean up those last few kills, and now. This is painful. That is a time of about four minutes and 10 seconds coming out here from the side of Reunited. It is beatable. We have seen quicker times in the Bonnie. I mean, actually, earlier today, we saw a quicker time on Gibraltar. <laughs> well, quite. But this is hardly ideal, and all the pressure is on LG, and let's just talk about magic numbers here for a second. For Reunited, their magic number going to the next game is about four. They wipe out LG four times. They should have the map. So for LG, they're not working with a whole lot of buffer here. No, they're definitely not. Speaking of magic numbers, by the way, one day I'm going to walk into a bar with you and I'm going to say, get this guy a drink. Wait, make that a double. Hang on a triple. <laughs> We're going to see how you like it then. Yeah, just a <laughs> double, a triple. A triple. He gets the triple. It's like, no, just open up the bar. I'll be here all night. <laughs> One day that's going to happen. But before that, of course, Luminosity now, four minutes and nine seconds. It is a beatable time on Numbani. Numbani does tend to be quite a quick map for teams that are successful in pushing that hold. And Reunited, of course, are going to want to absolutely shut that down. Ideally, at the first point, this is one of those maps, at least historically, where first point holds have been possible. There, there was an entire meta where Numbani was more or less never picked because first point holds were so prevalent. Yeah, there's uh, the Bunny has gone through phases. I know there's been points where it's actually been as favored as Hollywood and King's Row. Uh, that was a brief like two, three week period. Then it disappeared for ages. Now it's coming back. Teams are pretty fickle about what maps they want to play, but uh, we haven't seen more variety in general recently, which has been awesome. But taking a look here at the deep. Wait, okay, I was gonna say ice. Still what? A uh, little bit of strangeness coming out here from LG. I'd imagine Ice Belt <laughs> will be going on Tracer. Yeah, he does he, go on he, Tracer. He's in not the gonna end. stick on Junkrat. As, much, as fun as offensive tour would be, I don't think LG is going to do that in a match point situation. But again, they must move here. They cannot get wiped out very much, or that's going to be it. Uh, about 14 wipes is the number I've right Jackie with them camera angles. All right, ladies and gents, we're going to see if Luminosity can try and close the deal on Reunited here. It's a tall order. Luminosity have definitely uh, got a big task in front of them, but they are up for the challenge. Immediately going into the back lines and picking off Morte very early on in this fight is going to allow them to get a couple of extra points uh, moving into this. Denyata just so influential. Manitin really being the difference maker here is picked off both supports.
supports. His hooks are anti-healing, to say the least. He finally goes down the kid, but he's done all sorts of damage to his reunited backline. They have no sustain up whatsoever, and this should be a relatively easy cap here from LG. So they come in, and nice. they're going to get point A even quicker than reunited just because of that work done by Manitou. Status check for lives remaining for Luminosity Gaming. So they keep the dream alive. Saini coming in with a double kill, and Mineral just casually picking off Cruz to start things up. Ma Manitou? Manitou. Uh, I think he's just switching off to something other than Roadhog, I would guess. Uh, we'll have to see. One thing I'm going to note here, though, is he going to be switching off? Yeah, yeah. Yes, he's going okay. this way. All right, so one thing of note here, too, for Reunited, that wasn't really a productive wipe either. Now, for this, where they're defending such a good time, if they can just stall out as they die, it's fine, but they weren't even able to stall out much on point A. So for Reunited, even if they do get wiped, they need to make it take a while, burn extra time off the clock. They're going to be moving in right now. They're initiating with the Winston in over the top, trying to bring the fight here to LG. LG, though, Saini able to get to the back line with Icefelt. They take out Morte once more. Mineral is dead. Both teams down to support. More ultimates in favor of LG, but they're trying to save them because they know that they do have to basically win a whole bunch of fights without losing. Maybe Ball Taja with the dead eye takes out two. Reunite might have this defense. Yeah, the reflect from Genji, he saw it, but he couldn't quite outlast the time on Deadeye, unfortunately, and that will allow Valutar to get the double, and that does mean that Luminosity basically get wiped here and will have to reset. So uh, two minutes and 10 seconds left for them to complete the map. Reunited have the first critical hold they need. Right, and they, the cool thing about that for Reunite is that it wasn't a decisive, they just immediately got six kills. It took a while for them to win that fight, so really that was almost like winning two decisive fights in terms of time. LG basically has a buffer of two right now, if that. Saini is in the back line, does take out Morte. It's going to be three kills coming out here from LG. They are striking right back. They will get to this next checkpoint off of this, so Reunited still not at the danger zone just yet. No, not at all, and uh, Unfixed uh, trying to stall a little bit longer with D.Va will be able to buy a couple more crucial seconds. And 90 seconds now to complete the rest of the map for Luminosity. It has been done before in significantly less, but Reunited would, uh, well, of course, they're going to be standing in the way of that. Collapses do happen, though, and Overwatch is incredibly fast. Ice Belt almost with the Pulse Bomb. If something happens that clutches out the team wipe that lets them do this, it could be Ice Belt. Yep, and here's the other thing for Reunite. We talked about team wipes here. They've done enough here. Here comes Graviton in on the back line right now. They don't oh. have to get the follow-up that they're looking for there just yet. Uh, De Sound Barrett does come out here from Reunite. They have two kills, four oh, no. kills coming up for Reunited. That is absolutely critical damage being done to LG here. LG has one more chance, Reunited. One more team wipe, and they will win this. And even then, we're now at the zone here where Reunite could actually lose the next fight and still win just by making it take a while. So. Yep. LG not only needs to win this fight, they must win it decisively, or their tournament life is over. Reunited oh. will officially get the monkey off the back, but here comes the Deadeye from Voltage. Skulls are coming up. Watch giving a little bit of trouble. Dicks the oh, double kill it. in the end with the aid of Kip. And uh, Reunited looking very likely to have this. Yeah, that's got to be it. Ruster getting taken out before the fight even begins. And just as a Dragon Blade comes out, Valutaja takes out Genji as well. 20 seconds left to go. It is no longer possible for them to complete the map. Those two crucial pickups seal the deal for Reunited. And by a scoreline of 3-0, to zero, Reunited will be making it to the playoffs here. Yep, and for Reunited, uh, this is a big deal. Uh, they are able to, at least for now, say, look, we did win a grand final. Sure, some teams have already qualified, but it's still a big moment for them to come out and win in this fashion. They not only yes. win, they win three to nothing. Sure, LG made it close at points, but you have to be happy for Reunited because oftentimes this doesn't happen for them. But today they played super solid. Kib had some of the strongest contributions I've ever seen from him. And it worked out pretty well. They shook off uh, the shackles of the curse that they get in the finals there. Like you said, uh, Kib, absolutely fantastic. From Gibraltar onwards, they didn't really take their foot off the gas. Composed when it mattered. Don't forget, they were 99% down on Ilios as well. And a man who got to watch all of the drama and then some is now joining us here. Alex, how was that? I mean, you guys said 3-1 and I was like starting to feel it was coming through. I mean, that's the perfect point you just made there, John. I loved it. Great, great grand final, actually. Despite the scoreline, it did feel like that Ilios did just give us a little taste of what the other guys were capable of. We saw a good sign, for, a good size uh, of LG's performance. We could see, like, a little taste of what they were capable of. That 99 flip, though, like, you know, when he literally, <laughs> like, reunited. It, it, who was it? I think it was the Zenyatta. Just pops Transcendence and just leaps onto the point to at least contest it. Then they have them enough to throw their bodies on. Then they proceed to do a full comeback after LG looked so Oh, good. You guys were shouting and screaming about Icefelt on his Tracer. They had a really good bit of synergy there. All round, I was just feeling really good vibes for LG on Ilias. And then 
it kind of just came tumbling down as always, as it always does. John, I think we have to start with you. We are we are starting to see the Graviton Pulse Bomb meta. It's just going to be so damn effective. Every every time it pops up, it just dominates. You have to be so careful when you see things like Zenyatta coming onto the point and you're thinking, hang on a second, this is basically just a stall for a bit of time. No, right. the Graviton Pulse Bomb meta is coming straight behind him as well. And we saw that not once, but at least twice on Ilios at the point where there was overtime and about five or six times away from that as well, didn't we? Yeah, we saw it uh, quite a bit. And one thing to note here, why that is an effective Wombo and why uh, Tracer does do better than that than some other things, there's a lot of combinations that you'd throw in after a Graviton where Reinhardt can really stop you or uh, mm -hmm. shield, tanks in general can stop you from getting what you're looking for just with shields, whether it be Winston, Reinhardt, whatever. Obviously not so much Reinhardt and King of the Hill, but you can mitigate it. Tracer, though, she's able to come right in, drop the bomb on top of people. It's right. harder to actually stop people from not dying in that situation. And by the way, before we get too far removed from Ilios, big shout-outs to Winston just leaping around, giving us one of the more entertaining moments I think we've <laughs> seen in Overwatch, just exploring. That was fantastic. I mean, I, I just loved how many times he got to do that leap before yeah. plummeting into the pit. You guys were stifling laughter throughout all of that. Um, yeah, and Winston, again, just seems to be so damn effective at this these stalling tactics. We do, we are seeing this more and more. Yes, the transcendence certainly helps, but there's nothing beats a big chunky monkey just bouncing around, <laughs> waiting and trying to delay for his team. All round though, we have to try and find ourselves a little bit of uh, accommodation, I think, for Reunited. You guys were worried about this curse and whether or not it was going to finally be broken. Can we now put our feet up and say a convincing 3-0 in a best of five final from Reunited does cement them as a team that can win finals? It definitely helps. There's enough of no, a history okay. here where they have... It's not like this is the first finals ever won, but historically, it's more seconds than first. So it helps break that. If they do this one or two more times, especially in profile tournaments, they say, yeah. all right, they've finally gone off their back. But they need the win here tonight. They need the win big because it would have felt like a... We already felt that LG taking out Creation was a bit of an upset. Yeah. LG taking out Reunited as well. While a great story for LG would have been a terrible story for Reunited. So yeah. uh, big shout out to them for getting over this and qualifying for the bigger tournament later on in the month. Luminosity, of course, credit to them where it is due to Strong, if you're unfamiliar, uh, after being picked up by Luminosity. Getting to the grand final is a big chunk of points, and that does make keep them competitive in the battle for those playoff spots. And talking of too Strong, now Luminosity, we can take a quick look at the incredible play of the game. It goes to one man you'll have seen bouncing around your screens over this final best of five grand final. It was Saini, I believe, who was rocking the Reaper, and he did bring the pain on Gibraltar. We get to see him just mowing down various individuals here on the first map of the best of five. We got to see his debut and just ripping through that Graviton Surge. It was not the Tracer this time who profited from Zarya. He popped his Death Blossom and indeed he did bloom. Look at that. Bodies just hitting the floor, drowning pool style. And that was a very nice performance from some of the individuals. There's no doubt that there are competent players on the Luminosity roster, just not quite up to Reunited's, well, level at this point in time. And they do join the boys from Misfits and Rogue. That's three teams now locked in on the European side of things for the playoffs. And I keep mentioning these guys. Let's show you the leaderboard so you can see exactly how things have shaped up. This is how it goes right now. Misfits, Rogue, and Reunited. Just one more spot. It's so crazy that we're already there to the point where just one more week does uh, does does separate these guys. And you can see LG have creeped and crawled their way up. 22 points now. They're going to be very, very much battling for that spot. Now we see Reunited already got the spot. So Anox, Creation, and LG all chomping at the bit for that top spot. And one thing that's worth noting here when you do look at the leaderboard and what matters is that this all determines seeding as well. So seeding does matter in the middle of a turn. As yeah. much as you want to think that you're the best team and you can beat everyone, it's nicer when you have an easier road. So you look at, say, We United right now that's on the bottom of the, the points there towards the very end. They don't want to go up against a Misfits in the first round. No. They would rather have a much better uh, seeding, though. So for even the teams that have not completed and won a full uh, week, it's still important for them to get as many points to just improve their odds of going far in the final tournament. Yeah. Um, well, two teams that we saw into our Sunday was NIP, was LG, and both of those teams were have got themselves a very handsome share and handful of points. That's going to put them in more chances to get into the, towards the playoffs. Of course, four are locked in from winning the grand final and another four come from those points. Anox, the fact that they haven't really popped up since week two, they've kind of fallen off the face of the planet. We'll be seeing them ho hopefully more coming in towards our final week. We'll be seeing them hopefully show their faces again. We get to see that cypher and we get to see the cooler, get those Quakers happy. For now, though, we do take a break. When we do come back, we kick off North America. It is going to be a rather extended break. As always, we'll be back in about an hour's time, a bit more than that, to bring you North American Overwatch. So guys, do be sure to tune back in for the Overwatch Open to continue with the North American semis and grand finals in about an hour's time.